Here are some things that you guys really need to look out for when you come to Mexico Player de Carmen. And just so you guys know, this video was actually filmed three months ago, but I forgot to put an intro in. So here's my intro. While you're here, make sure to hit the subscribe button notification. Now, I thought I'll tell you guys this while I'm going shopping, trying to find my tripod. I was just in Walmart and they don't have tripods for mobile phones. So yeah. Okay, while here in Playa de Carmen, you attract many people from all over parts of the world. Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Russia, just so many places, okay? And there are people who specifically come here and they came from nothing, you know? Or they did have something, but they lost everything. Or they're here and they can't get a job. It's really hard to financially support themselves because they don't have the correct paperwork or they don't have a working visa or they can't get a job because they're not Mexican and they haven't done all the requirements they need to do to be get you know a job here right now some people are able to manage to get a job like I know a lot of people from Argentina and they just happen to have a friend who works in an Argentina restaurant or bar or something and they're able to get a job right but not everyone is that lucky, right? And um, there are people here that will use you for your money, especially if you're American, especially if you're from the West, you know, you kind of look that as a wallet sometimes and people will only want to be with you because of the life that you can provide for them and they might not even like you. They're just basically using you as their, you know, their little sugar daddy so they can get some money and take advantage of older men and they will, you know, pretend they like them and stuff like that just so they can use them to get what they need so they can have like, you know, a sustainable life here. Cosmet is one of the best burger res restaurants around here. Let me show you inside. It's got like a 80s or 70s, 60s theme going on in here. Hola. One thing you should definitely look out for is the food, okay? Be careful where you buy your food. I'm using voiceover because I don't want to get copyrighted in the restaurant. It was a lot of music. But be careful where you buy your food. Me personally, though, I have not got sick from eating anything here in Mexico. I've had friends, though. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been in Thailand for three years. I did get sick there a few times. But I have friends here, even Mexican friends here, who have ate in straight street food, for example, or even gone to a seafood restaurant. And they have gotten or some type of food poisoning, which is anywhere, really. But I don't know. I just feel like with overseas, maybe our guts are not used to the food here. And we tend to get more, especially from the West, we tend to get sick a lot more easier. Next thing I want to tell you guys is the taxi drivers. Not all of them, okay? I'm not saying all taxi drivers because I've had some really nice taxi drivers. But a lot of them are scammers, man. <laughs> like, they will overcharge you and stuff like that. For example, if you're in Playa de Carmen and you are on the 5th Avenue, all the taxis there are always going to be expensive, okay? All the tourists always go there, they want a taxi, and you're paying like double the price just to get to one part, like just to go to Upper Town, it could be around 200 to, three, uh, 200 to 300 pesos. Um, a lot of them do that, they'll overcharge you, especially if you get a taxi at Walmart, when all you have to do is walk onto the street and you can get a taxi there, right? in front of Walmart or maybe down the road a bit because some of the taxis won't pick you up because they're scared to get into um, beef with the other taxi drivers, right? And let's say I want to go like further uptown. I'll show you and give you an example on the map, like 38, um, KF 38, right? Let's say I want to go there. They will give me, um, they will charge me 30 pesos. And sometimes even those taxis might give you 50 pesos. So you should always assume how much it is or at least know and just give them the money as if you lived here for a while and you know it costs that much and then they're going to accept it. Because many times when I ask, they will give it like 20 more pesos, they will up the price up. So from now on, when I go in the taxi, I just act like, yeah, this is, this is how much it costs. Here it is. As well as that, there's like a little wall going on between Uber drivers and taxis. In Play de Carmen, for example, Tulum, Puerto Morelos, there are no Uber drivers. Puerto Morelos is really small, so <laughs> I doubt there'll be Uber drivers. But in Cancun, for example, there are Uber drivers and some of them get followed. A woman that I met who was an Uber driver got punched in the face by a taxi driver. Now, I'm not saying all taxi drivers are bad, okay? But 
some are really not good and um, when you get an uber in Cancun you can't sit in the back like a passenger you have to act like you know them you have to be really discreet about it I know crazy right they were telling me and I was like I have to be discreet so you have to go to the uber not look at your phone constantly going yeah is this the car like you can't even do that once the uber comes you have to go Hola, come you have to like act like you're they're your friends and jump in the front seat because if there's taxi drivers around and they feel something's up they could get the uh, apparently allegedly the police on you well not on you but the uber driver and just really harass them and annoy them because you know they're making good money like the ubers are really cheap here taxi drivers to drive a damn taxi they have to pay more money they have to like get like some type of permission thing quote me if i'm wrong let me know in the comment section below but they have to get something to be able to drive a taxi or just to pick up people in certain areas and y'all if you speak spanish that will help a lot too because a lot of these taxi drivers really appreciate that and they charge you like a local man i'll be like giving them little conversation like yeah yeah yo soy vivo aquí and play the common tres años like I don't know the best Spanish, by the way. I know a little bit, but not a lot. And they be really nice to me, man. They be charging me local, and they be like, you're Mexican. I'm like, yeah. And yeah, it's good. So learning Spanish does help a lot. I noticed the nicer taxi drivers are the ones like with religious symbols in their car. They're the ones who usually won't rip you off. You don't have to do what I told you to do. And they're just generally nice. I'm not saying only religious people are nice but i'm just saying that you know majority of them well all of them in my experience won't rip you off um now i'm about to go into this place and hopefully i can go get a tripod so we can finally film with a tripod for this camera and i can make more videos for you guys and i left my mask at the restaurant okay oxo's over there hopefully i can go buy a mask all right, so I'm now in Puerto Morelos, gonna go to my favorite barber and get my hair done. I love this town. I actually used to live here for dos años in Puerto Morelos. Oh yeah, that's taqui. <laughs> it's Julio. Julio? Espanol, Julio? Cool. Cool. Sí, en Spanish. Cool es. Cool. Te lleva de todo. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is. Okay, I know a lot of you guys love coming to Mexico, popping your. and doing all that crazy ish. I'm not about that life, okay? I'm about, you know, the high life, the healthy life, okay? So, um, the problem with getting and stuff like that here is that most of the time, not all the time, but sometimes it's a setup. There's people on the streets that are selling you things and sometimes you might get things that is not good quality and can harm you, harm your body. Um, for example, like, it's very common to go to an event here and people just sell it in the open like they really don't care and you go you get it and next thing you know you're fainting or acting really crazy or having a heart attack which i witnessed some guy he was like shaking and then he went on the floor and he took something right um a friend of mine he bought something and then next thing you know the cops pull him over like they specifically knew to come for him and he felt like it was a setup like he felt like they sold it to him and then they told the police and then they the police took money off him like they didn't arrest him he paid them some money i forgot how much it was like all the money that he had on him it was a lot i think it was like how much was it probably 500 or something like that which when you're here you shouldn't be carrying a lot of money on you just in case those things do happen you just give what you have which is hopefully not a lot you know carrying up a a lot right so there's that situation not only that you gotta not be selfish and think about the consequences and the that like the other people is yeah your your health or doing whatever to your body right but you're also affecting the other people like there's a lot of things that happen for those that to land in your hand you all right guys so that's what i have for you today make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications because i will be making more videos like this 
hopefully I can get a tripod because I am sick of holding my hand with this and it's being all shaky 